Hi everyone, this is Total Enthusiast here. And um, sorry, it's been quite some time since I've made a video, but uh, with the whole COVID situation and trying to get a little recording spot in my garage here set up and uh, all other factors of life have kind of uh, fell off to the side here and it's taken me a minute, but uh, we're back. I'm ready to start the um, uh, tour reviews and discussions and and uh, whatnot and I uh, hope you guys will join in on my videos and comment and like and subscribe and uh, today I received a handful of packages in the mail I thought we'd do a quick unboxing on and I'd uh, go ahead and do them on video these are eBay purchases I bought uh, various name brands used and I uh, just thought I'd bring you guys along for the for the unboxing today and and uh, we'll we'll start our tool series and breakdown of tools and and whatnot uh in the next coming few videos here so uh we'll go ahead and point you guys now at the table and get the packages and we'll get them going here okay so this is my first time doing this so just bear with me here we gotta figure out which angle and setting we want to use from now on all righty so we got our first package here um This is Let's set that to the side. I'm gonna raise you guys up a little bit more because it looks like you're too too low. There you go. Uh, so this is a snap-on extension that I bought. Uh, used. It's a specific length that I've been after. It's really difficult to find. I believe this one's a three inch it may be the four the four is what i'm after if you guys speaking of which that are watching this video have any non-wobble or wobble plus just a straight um extensions in four inch so this is a half inch um i'm after the three eighths four inch is what i'm after non-wobble or non-wobble plus this right here is a uh, snap on three inch half inch drive um, extension fairly decent shape so that's the reason I purchased it most of the time when you find these online they've been uh, put on impacts and they've had a little bit of a beating but uh, when I can find them in decent shape and for a decent price I'll pick them up I don't know exactly what I paid for it but it wouldn't have been uh, more than $25 definitely not more than 30 that would have been my limit on it so that's the first item I'll set that to the side right there Here, got another item. This will be my very second YouTube video. Um, you'll have to bear with me. I'm, you know, learning how to talk to the camera when nobody's around but pretending you guys are there. <laughs> uh, and just things of that nature. So, so um, sorry if I stumble a little bit. But let's see. So these are two... Um, Snap on wrenches. That I purchased. And the whole reason I bought these is the entire flank drive plus set in metric. Heck, it doesn't matter, even in SAE. They want a fortune for these. And I just have a hard time seeing. Uh, definitely retail cost. I don't see the retail cost on, on these sets at all. But I have a hard time seeing even used pricing. I uh, wanted to go ahead and pick up a couple of them. I bought the 10 and the 12 just to see. And this one's not been, it's in good shape. It's just not been, um, I don't even think the opening has been used ever on it. This has got a little rust on it right here. In the um, you can see the rust and the grooves down in there. It's not been oiled and maintained in the toolbox. I mean, uh, I'm an advocate of keeping your tools clean and oiled up. And um, some people uh, treat their tool like it's a tool, which is absolutely acceptable and absolutely fine. Uh, there's no, it's your property. But um, so I'll have to get that cleaned up. So this is a 12. 
the other one I bought was a 10. Um, I had to give about $25 a piece for these, so um, I just want to see if they're worth uh, retail price on these or uh, don't quote me, don't quote me, but they're, I believe they're, they're definitely about 300 bucks. I think you're looking at close to five for these complete sets, which to me is a little bit um, up there. Um, and I just want to see by buying these two if they're actually worth that kind of money or not. And uh, obviously it'll take a few years of me using these and wrenching on, on vehicles to put them through a couple engine rebuilds or something to see if they're worth it. But uh, I just wanted to see if they're actually worth that kind of money or not. So here's a 10. Um, uh, this 10 has definitely been used, which is fine. I mean, I bought it used. Well, the opening is a great shape and the closing ends in great shape. So I cannot complain. Um, I gave 25 bucks a piece. I, I gave, um, like 25 bucks for the 10 and close to $28 or something for this 12. So uh, that's a few bucks more. So there's two wrenches. Let's see what else we've got. I think I got one more after this or two more. I don't remember. There's another one. Another package. Let's see. And you know, um, I bought quite a bit of eBay stuff. And the majority of the time, folks go out of their way to take care of what they're sending you. Make sure it's packaged and, and whatnot. So that's, you know, that's, I appreciate that. Uh, when, when folks do it. So this is a Craftsman Hammer, ball peen hammer, USA made. Um, back in, you know, pre-2006. Uh, it's in mint condition. And so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it because it hadn't been beat all the heck. No pun intended. <laughs> and uh, I have a um, plastic mat that I'm going to be purchasing for this table so, we'll, so I don't have to worry about um, rolling items around on it and possibly cracking it. So uh, we'll get that going. But it's a, um, it's a solid metal. It's not the wood handle. Solid shaft uh, like what I already own. It's it's never been used. It's still got the, uh, there's a, they put like a, it's a coating they put on it. It's not polyurethane. I don't know what it is. It may be polyurethane, but I doubt it. Um, that they put on these and this is still got it. They ain't even chipped off yet. So I decided to pick it up because it's uh, made in USA, ball peen hammer. Um, these are kind of rare. Um, so that's that item. What else we got in here? This is a um, this is a snap-on three-inch um, non-wobble three-eighths drive uh, extension that I bought. It was brand new, and um, I gave I think twenty dollars for it. Maybe I gave twenty-two or something, but I know I didn't give more than twenty-five. It's kind of my cutoff limit for these. Most people give thirty. So I have a hard time buying them because because online most people will get between thirty and thirty five for these, and I gave uh, I gave around twenty bucks for that one. You kind of have to find the uh, the eBay um, items that's going to exp there in the middle of the night when most people are resting <laughs> in order to jump on a deal like that. And uh, kind of a little secret that I use when I buy on eBay. 
think we got one more item and that's it. And this, this individual uh, set up the package for me. And then they went as far as to wrap it with um, shipping tape, which is for weather resistance capabilities to the best that they could, you know, which was cool. You know, they didn't have to do that. And that, that's really cool. This is a birthday bar. I don't remember if it's SK or if it's Snap-on. Let's see here. I can't remember. All right. Sorry if I opened some of those off camera. I just realized I'm gonna have to start paying attention to that. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to open them and get the job done. <laughs> Not paying attention if it's in view, so I apologize if a few of those openings were not in view. But uh, this is a snap on 3 8 drive uh, breaker bar that I bought. This was another, I actually had to pay up for this. I paid 45 bucks for this. Um, I actually paid $40 plus shipping, and the shipping it was um, like six and a half or something. So I gave 46 50 or 47 bucks for this bad boy. Um, I don't have a 3 8 snap on in my collection. I have others that uh, like I have protos um, um, that I don't care to to um, use. I mean, I don't even care to use this one, but uh, I just wanted to snap on my collection because I don't own any snap on breaker bars, period. And uh, I thought if I was going to go ahead and buy one, I'd get three eighths because it's the most used. Uh, it's the most. It's the drive I use most. So um, this is this is the um, the older logo. So this would have been uh, probably uh, 80s. It's the older style logo. Uh, man, that's going to be hard to get into focus. And stuff. I can't get it to focus. Force here, but um, it's the it's the cursive writing style logo. So anybody that's a Snap-on person knows the cursive writing style um, or the loopy style. Um, is what era that is, and I'm on. Um, this is definitely uh, during my childhood days. So, uh, uh, so that's all the items I got, and that's what we've got to unbox today is the breaker bar, uh, three eighths extension, three inch, a um, half inch, um, three inch extension, ten millimeter flank drive plus. 12 mil, millimeter flank drive plus, and then the um, Craftsman uh, 16 ounce ball peen hammer, ball peen hammer um, made in USA. And I'm the only reason I brought, bought this is um, for the solid metal shaft and made in USA. In all honesty, it would be one of the last hammers I'd grab to use because I don't, I don't have to have it. I mean, I don't have to grab it to, to get a job done. I've got other um, hammers that I could grab to get the job done that um, I don't care to replace those. I don't want to have to go to a Lowe's and replace this one. It's made in USA. Um, I know Craftsman's working on what they're working on in Texas. And I'm praying that, that I'm not praying, but I'm hoping that, that all, the material, all the tools you see right here are a part of the tools that Craftsman brings back to that Texas family. So that's what we got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I apologize again for all the ums and thinking uh, through this video. I haven't uh, sat down and tried to do a video since the very first little quick run through of my toolbox. So as things progress, as we all know, I'll get more comfortable. Everyone, everyone gets more comfortable in front of the camera and uh, the, the videos will improve a little bit. Uh, hopefully they'll improve quite a bit. 
and we'll continue forward. If there's any kind of review video that you want, uh, just put it down in the comments about a particular tool and name brand. I'll see if I have it in my uh, collection. If I do, I'll be more happy to do a review on it. Maybe I'll learn something about a tool that, that I need. I can tell you guys firsthand. Um, I'm a DIYer. I'm not a professional um, individual when it comes to using tools on a professional level every day. And uh, I'm an engineer by trade. And uh, that's what me and Baha Wan Man do for a living. We're both engineers. And um, we don't touch hand tools typically. We, we're the guys in the office that piss the tech guys off by inventing and creating these crazy designs and whatnot. So <laughs> um, I am a DIYer. I'm, and I can tell you there's a lot of tools I don't have in my collection that I need. A lot of specialized vehicle tools, pulleys and, and um, slide hammers and just simple things like that. I don't own quite yet, but... Maybe there is a tool that you're that you're wondering about that I do have that um, we can do a video on. And if not, um, nine times out of ten, I'll go out and get it get it on order and get it in. Um, but um, all your basic mechanic tools and various name brands I have in stock. I'm not going on every single ratchet there is made out there, but um, I have a pretty decent array of ratchets, and we can. We can compare Snap-on to Craftsman to Armstrong to s &K, or I don't own right tools, ratchets um, as of yet. However, I do have my own or quarter-inch body with a 3 8 drive in it uh, that they make. Um, well, we can break those certain name brands down and review them. Um, we can talk about wrenches and, and the various name brands I have. I have from Craftsman to Proto Professional, which are excellent in my opinion. Um, the old school Proto Professional at least. Um, to S and K six point box end oh, um, combination wrench. Now these two I have the S and K X frame uh, ratcheting uh, ten and twelve in them as well. So um, I have you know four or five various um, name brands and eras. I have the old Craftsman USA main. I have the new Craftsman uh, Gunsmoke um, oh, combination wrenches. So. I have various name brands and, and whatnot that we can review. I can tell you which ones are um, home use, which ones you can use on a vehicle's engine and training, and then which ones you can use on a suspension that's on a 16-year-old rusted-up suspension. Um, there are different levels there. I expect to use these on anything I ever want to use it on, period. Just because of what it is and what what the reviews and quality that I've read about online say about them. These are supposed to be Snap-on's um, best of the best, in my opinion. Uh, the Flank Drive Plus, to me, is what, is what Snap-on should be considering their, their flagship wrenches. I'm not saying anything negative about regular Flank Drives. I'm not saying anything bad about non-Flank Drive. I'm saying if I'm a Snap-on corporate um exec of any kind i'm gonna consider these the best in my catalog so i expect to be able to use this and put it through um through heck and back for for a better word for youtube uh, you can fill in the blank air so um yeah just just let me know in the comments um we'll we'll, we'll start this channel and go from there um that's all I have, guys. Well, have a good day, and uh, stay safe out there during this COVID situation. And uh, we'll, we'll try to get back with you within a week with, an, with another video.